Vault Hunter. I am picking up a distorted thought within the confines of that memory. Curious. Head back there and check it out. Well, go on then. See what the nature of this distorted thought might be. Why can't I vomit up the pretty shadows? <sighs> Crack my skull and listen for the echo! It cowers in the shadows of the scattered attic. I told you I'm thinking. Hey, Vault Hunter, can I get a hand here? I'm trying to remember something, but nothing's ringing any bells. Maybe you can help me out. Bells, is it? Say no more, Zane's on the case. Wherever she looked, a storm of steel followed. Oh yeah, you're right. They were silver. Hey, thanks, Vault Hunter. That was driving me crazy. Well, that and... Everything else. <laughs> Alas, my knight, brave Sir Thaddeus, hath disappeared upon the very hour of our needed check. But the Black Heart King must pay for his insults upon the personage of our beloved Queen. I beseech thee, find our missing knight. Wheresoever went that wayward knight, Zane shall seek and scour. Am I doing this right? Nay. Indeed, I will not have my honor besmirched by a lowly creature such as he. Now, fair warrior, if thou should find our errant champion, do you relay that his noble queen longs for his triumphant return? If thou wishest to hurry forth, then seeketh thou clues as to our lost soldier's whereabouts. But if thou wouldst tarry a moment and hear the tale of our kingdom's woes, then speaketh unto me. Ah, so you wish to learn more. Then let me begin. You don't actually have to stay for this, by the way. He does go on. This battle against the Black Hearts hath raged forever and a day, it would seem. Move and counter move, Sicilian defense and en passant. We've lost many a brave warrior upon this checkered field of battle. Indeed. But we did not start this war. Hold on. Don't the white pieces make the first move? Doesn't that mean that you did start it? Ah, yes. While that is technically true, the Black Hearts really had it coming. Their banditry hath terrorized these lands since time immemorial. But the final straw, as it were, was when we received word that the foul Black Heart King said the most unkind things about our fair queen. Oh, sure. You, you gotta knock the smack talk out of his mouth for a thing like that. To be clear, he started it. So. Naturally, we went to war, uh, for the good of the people, and the lands, of course, and also because he is a bully. And bullies have no place in this world. They're mean, and nobody likes them. So we will fight them. Indeed. But just between us, I'm actually the better fighter. It's not my fault. I have bad knees, but I say this truly. I can kill any man who stands within a short distance of me. Ha! Yeah, yeah, bad knees, I get it. Anyway, I'm off to find the knight. Your efforts shall be rewarded. Some carrots. Carrot remnants of a certain dude. Thaddeus must wait upon the terminus of such said trail. Seek him out. What makes you say that? Why carrots? It 
It must be the equine part of him, specifically his head. Horses love carrots. Does not everyone know that? Uh, no. Not common knowledge, as far as I know. I see. Not everyone grew up in a castle. <laughs> Let's have a chat. It's possible you picked the wrong battle. And you're dead. Fancy that. Looking for a fella named Thaddeus. Are you? <laughs> Sorry, didn't catch that. Ah, thou doth not hail from these lands, and must not know the Chessian tongue. Luckily, I know yours, and in this base language, I must say something of such great urgency that I cannot delay but for one more moment in relaying the content of this warning to thee, my lord. <laughs> Thou must flee this place post haste, for the dreaded rook known as Mokdan Urgash shall return ere long, seeking violence, no doubt. Tis as I feared, he comes! Steal thyself. <laughs> I am ever in thy debt, thou mighty slayer of rooks. Come, let us depart from this foul place at once. So how would you end up in that lockbox? Alas, the shame of capture is outweighed only by my shame at the impetus for my departure. The violence, the bloodshed, the moving in L-shaped patterns, it all got to be too much. So I deserted, to follow mine heart's true desire. Dance! Come off it! You're pulling me leg. Would that I were, but alas. When Mokdan Urgash came upon me, I challenged him to a dance-off to win mine freedom. He laughed mercilessly as I expressed my innermost truth through the art of movement. Then he beat me onto the brink of sense and imprisoned me. Well, of course that didn't work. Indeed. Now I have but one choice to throw myself upon the judgment of the king and seek his mercy. Come, it is not far now. You return with our beloved Thaddeus. It warms my heart to see thy countenance again, brave Sir Knight. Wouldn't be so sure on that brave bit. Why dost thou say such a thing? Speak plainly. He doesn't want to fight anymore. He'd rather dance up a storm. I see. I understand, Sir Thaddeus. I, too, have certain passions that I would have pursued were my life to have taken a different path. But the skirmish must continue. Thou, who hast proven thyself most brave and capable, wouldst thou take Sir Thaddeus' place upon the field of battle? Ah, sure, why not? Open your blood! 
bloody eyes! King's reign of monstrous terror is no more, and also, he shall never again spew such foulness about anyone, especially me. Now come, brave warrior, address your king. I, as ruler of these lands, wish to bestow the highest honor upon thy brow. Kneel, if thou wouldst receive it. In recognition of thy deeds this day, henceforth ye shall be known as a knight of the realm. Rise now in glory. Sir Zane, I like the sound of that. Thou art always welcome in our lands. And wheresoever thy travels may lead, thou hies with the blessing of the queen. Fare thee well, brave knight. Now, as for thee, Sir Thaddeus, what am I to make of this? Please, my liege, I beg your mercy. A mind chest beats the heart of an artist, not that of a fighter. Dance is my one true calling. Tis my destiny! My lord, perhaps he deserves a chance to prove himself. Hmm. I suppose I would be remiss if I didst not, at very least, witness thy talents with mine own eyes. Commence to dancing. Oh, yes, of course, my liege. <laughs> my word, never have I witnessed such elegance, such poise. It's beautiful. Sir Thaddeus, thou hast moved me. Let it be known across the lands that he who was once Sir Thaddeus shall henceforth be recognized as Dance Master Thaddeus. Gratitude, my liege. I will not fail thy name in this most vital position. Be sure that thou dost not. 